สวัสดีครับสวัสดีชายินทานอะไรเฮีย Welcome to my channel The time has come I have gathered all information that I can to try to explain the saving face and losing face that you have been all asking for You might think, why it takes so long to make a video about saving face or losing face? Because it's in your culture, g i t i s h a i why is it so hard to explain it? The thing is, the saving face in Thailand is not common as you think. It's not common as in the YouTube comments specify this all the time. In fact, the first time I heard it from Andrew Jackson, I'll, I'm going to put his comment down here. The thing he said was, "Yeah, Thai people saving face all the time, and Thai people lie all the time, or something like that." In in the reply of his own comment, so I was surprised to to see about saving face, and I'm very surprised to see people mentioning it a lot of times in my comments, and they are and yeah, you guys requesting me to do a video about saving face about it. In this video, I'm going to present you some of the situation that I think it is saving face. In my own opinion, it, this video is going to be an at, attempted explanation of saving face. What it is, in my understanding. First of all, before we go that route. I'm going to say that it is there is a lot. There are a lot of diverse understanding of what saving face is. I see in my YouTube comments, it's like one person understand this way and another person understand that saving face is this way. So here are what people understand of what saving face is. I gather this from my Facebook and my YouTube comment. Let's see. So David say here, saving face essentially mean that to be on your best behavior. Daniel here say, saving face is a behavior to stop doing something when you go down to a wrong path. Robert here say, his understanding is. Not do something that could cause yourself embarrassment or disgrace. Gary say, for what know what it is, to not look bad in front of others. And he has said, most Thai people explain to him that saving face is to not do something stupid in front of others. And there's some guys over YouTube say saving face. You can't even answer that. We actually have that expression in Thailand. If you ask like your boss, it's called l i a k a n g l i a k a which in Thai literally means to lick, to lick your the leg, you know, to lick the leg. It's a s s e n t It is essentially what a s l i n g i n g is. So enough of that. If you follow me on Facebook, you see that I. Post about this uh, about a week or two weeks ago. I said I can't grasp the exact idea of saving face by myself because saving face actually has no translation in Thai. Yeah, the closest translation in Thai is why n a But why n a I in real life, in real life. I see it only used it negatively, like my w i n a but my w i n a means to not give respect when you do something. Like uh, three days later. ทำไมพูดจาไม่ไว้หน้ากันเลย Why you say something without respecting me, right? So instead. Of the saving face here, we're going to take a look at the word losing face. Losing face has Thai translations, which means "sianna." Sianna means losing face. 
I actually looked it up on the official dictionary of Thai language. Sienna means to embarrass. Essentially means to embarrass yourself. Which is what it is. Sienna just means embarrassed. Losing face is essentially embarrassed. As, as I say, when I search for the term saving face, there's only foreigners wrote about it. And a lot of people give different definitions to it, to the word saving face. If you Google the word saving face right now, which, which I want you to do it right now, search for saving face, and you see there's no Thai people that actually write about saving face at all. Most of them are complaining about saving face, Thai people saving face without actually giving out the exact definition of what saving face is. That's probably explain the diverse understanding of the word. Are you following me here? That's why I, I don't even understand what it is when you first brought up. I wouldn't say it's not in our culture. I think this some aspect of saving face for sure which I'm going to explain what I think it is after this What did I understand about saving face? What I think is saving face number one cover up the excuses of cover up that the government make This is this is a thing that is annoying to Thai people too if you haven't known yet Thailand is not a democratic country. It is under the, the rule of junta, essentially the dictatorship. If there's something wrong, if Thai people caught something wrong that happens in the government, like in the one time, yeah, one of the minister has a lot of watch collections, has a lot of watch, like 20 watches. And those are not shitty watches. Those are Lolexes. And those are the watches that it has value over $50,000. You know, they are not cheap watches. And that minister has them, has like 20 of them. Of course, Thai people are not amused by this and ask for the explanation. And what the explanation they gave us, that minister simply said, he borrowed it from his friends. This is not. This is probably a, a unique thing. This is probably a, a very unique thing in Thailand, because I don't see any any other countries will do this. Will give some uh, stupid excuses like this. It's just simply lying and not admitting mistakes. It's not like Thai people are this way, it's only the government. Yeah, this is the purest form of saving face that I think it is the issue that, that you think here. I just want you to know that this behavior only apply to the government and not Thai people. Thai people are not this way and we are not happy of this type of face saving. It's simply give out some silly excuses and expect what what they expect anyway do you think anyone will buy the explanations i don't think so this is just one example there's a lot more now to the second thing that i think is face saving Older people or people of higher status than you will not admit to their wrongdoings because they are simply older. In Thailand, if you're older, you simply have a higher status, especially in the work environment or your family. If you, if you know Thai culture, it is we respect the older people and in some cases they take this for granted and they just not admit to any wrongdoing it's like sometimes if you even argue with them they will have one excuse is that 
their entire word. They will say, "Ap nam ron ma god," which it is Thai idiom for they they were born before you, so so they have, they should know better. This is what this is the excuse that my mom would would say to me <laughs> all the time. This status thing can lead to bullying too, because older people may be more recognized than younger people. They are high in status, so they they are more trusted. People people will see them as oh their opinion must be right. They are older, so their opinions must be valid. This it is this way in Thai culture. So in workplace, you may be abused by them. They are a case of they are cases of uh, power abuse of this kind by older people. Actually, I have someone from Facebook, Mr. Ali, share this kind of bullying, and he thought this is some kind of face saving. I'm going to read this to you. Uh, so, in summary, is that his co-teacher bully him. It's like she she tried to find faults in in his work and has a very bad attitude towards him. In the end, he actually had to resign because he didn't want to stay. It's so sad to hear that someone treat you like this, Mr. Ali. He he said he actually reported this to the director of the school, and and the director sided with with her because she she been there before before him, and she's older. This is what power abuse in Thailand look like. When the director asked her about the wrongdoings, she would just lie and not admit it. Mr. Ali thought this is a kind of face saving, but if you imagine in your culture, if someone is abusing you and bullying you, will they admit to their wrongdoing? Will they admit to their faults? I don't think so. This is not face saving, but. I think she is just a very bad person in general, and maybe she has a racist attitude or something. I don't know what's her problem. I don't know what her problem is. So yeah, it's kind kind of sucks. So instead of thinking this as a face saving, I think it is it has to do with our culture of respecting the older in general that caused this to happen. So let's go on to the next part. Now, in this part, I'm going to bring up some examples that you might think it is possible to face saving, but I'm going to explain to you what I think about it. All right? The first, the first one come from I don't really want to to read his name. His name is pronounced Kwai D. <laughs> it means good buffalo, but buffalo can be used. To insult people in Thailand, I don't want to call his name because in Thai it's equivalent to calling him idiot. He suggested to to watch this video, the losing face in Thailand. I can't see through the whole video because it is it doesn't really explain anything. Even though he, in the video the the guy has a a Thai woman sit beside him, I don't think that. That lady contribute anything to the to the conversation. I just don't think that her her English skill is not high enough to explain the abstract ideas. Because all all she did is like uh, saying yes yes and confirming him, and he didn't really give give her a chance to to talk or anything at all. You can you can check his video out if you want to see what I talk talk about. But I I can't sit through nine minutes. I I can't see through the whole video, so I made only I watched only nine first minutes and I gave up. the The very first thing that the very first example that that the guy in the video say is he went out somewhere and he asked for directions and he said Thai people gave him wrong information, wrong direction rather than saying they don't know. I'm, I'm not sure, I, I don't know what the situation is or anything like that at all. But it's not embarrassing. It's not embarrassing to admit that you don't know something in Thailand. There's a lot of time that people come and ask me 
where this is, where this is, which most, most of the time I don't know. So I just simply said I don't know and I just direct them to the police or someone that I think they, they would know. I'll help you if I can, but if I don't know, I say I just say I don't know. It's not a matter of saving face at all. My girlfriend worked in a metro station and and she has to wear this uh, met metro station uniform, right? In the way home or when she go to another station, when she wear the uniform, a lot of people come and ask her, which exit should I take? Which way should I go? If it's not her station, it's obvious that she doesn't know the answer. So she just say she doesn't know. She just she just admitted that she doesn't know, and just move on. It's not it's not the situation that you have to save face or anything at all. It's just not embarrassing. I don't know why you get that idea anyway. If you if you really want to prove me wrong, just go out and ask Thai people. You you can if you're in Thailand, you can just go out and ask Thai people and you see what I'm talking about. If they don't know what you're talking about, they just say they don't know or they can't speak English. And yeah, and Mr. Kwaidi also provide me more information and say that in Europe, it is usual to clarify a problem with a worker directly. So the thing is, you may get this idea. I don't know where you get this idea of you can't criticize the work of the people that you hire. It is very normal. If, you, if you're paying someone to do something, it's not up to your standards. It's normal to Thai for Thai people to complain about it too. There's no saving face in that situation. I paid money. I deserve the good service. There's actually uh, another comment from YouTube. Here's an example. If you embarrass a Thai chef by telling your food is overcooked and undercooked, or your trade man did a bad job of fixing something in your house, can you tell him come back and you did a crap substandard job? Of course you can, because you paid your money. You paid your money for it. It's a thing that you deserve to do. And in Thailand, you can do that. I, I don't know where you get this format. It's like they they, they have to make customer happy too. A good example from Andy here. Uh, he he went to the pizza hut and he and the, the waiter got him the wrong order. And when he he say something about it, she did not admit it. I don't know why this happened, but, but if, if it was me, if it was me, I, I would definitely call the manager and complain about it for sure, because. I, I paid money for it, you know. I don't know what, what happened in that day. But yeah, if, if the waitress is in the wrong here, you should complain. You should always complain about it. Make the service better. Because Pizza Hut is like 400 or 500 baht minimum to go there, right? It's, it's not like I eat 50 baht at the street. If I eat in, in, the, in the side of the street and I pay like 50 or 60 baht I, I wouldn't complain anything because it's what you you expect right you the low-end shop where you paid like 40 or, or 50 baht there you, you just you just can't complain about it because it's cheap but it, if it's a, a chain restaurant like pizza I would complain for sure because that's a lot of money man The last example from Kirk Wilson here, he said, I find it better if you can talk to the girls that are alone. As you know, Thai self face with their friends and they are really quite conservative in front of their friends. Let me ask you this. If, if they want to say face, if they want to, you know, if they don't want to say it in front of camera, wouldn't it be better to just refuse, reject, to do an interview. I, I constantly get the comments about these these people aren't giving honest answers and something like that. Personally I think if, if someone is not going to say what they what what they think in their mind, they they probably don't say it out anyway, even if they are in the group or alone. If you don't don't want to say it, you probably don't say it anyway. 
So it's a video about saving face for me and a tempted explanation. Well, what do you think about it? Lastly, I want to address the face saving. You see, as we are human, as we are human in every culture, everyone wants to be correct, right? I mean, almost everyone, most, most people want to be correct. I want to be correct. You want to be correct. No one wants to be embarrassed. So this is not something unique to Thailand. That's why I, I fail to see what this is all about. Because everyone don't want to be embarrassed. And the thing about criticism is not limited to Thai people that some of them can't take criticism. It also happens in somewhere else as well in the world. But you may argue that, well, losing face in Thailand has has a worse consequence. Yes, if you if you embarrass wrong people, and those wrong people, I mean the violent people. Some people are just looking for trouble and they, they just see some excuses that can start trouble and they will take it. They will gang up on you. It's like road rage. Some cars, some people just don't even care if you just cut in front but some people are so macho about it. If you cut in front of someone, they will, they will come down. They will, cut you off and then you will have trouble. It's not like embarrassing someone will have a grave consequence. It's not like that at all. It just depends on the people. I hope this can explain it. You know, I, I have always feel that the, this concept on the internet of saving face is it's just overstated for Thai people. It is overly stated. If you have other examples, please comment down so I can see it. I look forward to explaining it to you if I have time. The only thing I want you to take from this video is that saving face is often overstated. That's it, I think I, I talk a lot today, but <laughs> I'm getting tired. So see you in the comment section. Tell me what do you think. And if you have time, check out my Facebook page as well. The time is up now and get the shy out.